I never, ever thought I would become a priest. But 47-year-old Reverend Christine Lee ignored her doubts, and almost 10 years ago, she was ordained. My dad is a pastor, um, and he's not just a pastor, but he's a very famous pastor in the Korean community. And so I just never thought that I would follow in his footsteps. When we chatted in the 188-year-old St. Peter's Episcopal Church on West 20th Street, Lee was casual, her arm tattoo showing. This reminder of, you know, God is with me and God has also made me to be a strong and powerful warrior. Lee is kind and warm and is quick to acknowledge the challenges current day churches are facing. And so St. Peter's Vestry decided Lee, the first female Korean American Episcopalian priest, would be perfect to lead the Chelsea Church. She begins October 1st. What uh, swayed me was her openness, um, you know, just, just her, her, her candor. Declining membership is not a unique problem. It's happening at churches across New York. Leadership here at St. Peter's would look out at Sunday services and see only 20 to 25 people. I've always been really captured by this idea of um, renewal and restoration. And that stays with her wherever she is. Lee is training for the upcoming New York City Marathon, and as she loops around Manhattan, she prays. Because we have a number of Episcopal churches around the city that are you know, either closed or shuttering or are gonna be closed down soon, what I decided to do is I, I ran by one um, and I just stuck my hand out on the gate and I just prayed that God would bring new life to that church. Parishioners of St. Peter's hope Lee's energy and enthusiasm will prevent this Chelsea congregation from becoming a footnote in the neighborhood's history. Are you feeling optimistic? Absolutely. In Manhattan, Allison Caden, PIX11 News.